Hello and welcome to a new unboxing video. Today I've got this absolutely beautiful art supply box to open. This is the Artful box and it's a three month quarterly box. So this is the third one that I have received and the boxes are just absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, I do already know what's in this because there was an advert on Instagram showing what was in the box and it just like popped up in front of my face. So that's a bit of a disappointment, but it's still really exciting to open it. Okay. So these are usually really good boxes with really good value for money. The box costs £35 and it's every three months. Let's see what's in here first. This lovely envelope. I'll just pour them all out. We've got some of these Tombow ABT markers. Now, I've already got some of these in a scroller box and that looks like, this looks like one of the colours that we got in the scroller box. Um, it actually looks blue on camera, but it's really uh, more of a greeny turquoise colour. So we've got some of those. So there's eight of those. And the double ended, that's all the colours. We've got a brush tip on that end. These are water based, they're not alcohol. And then there's a small nib on that end. We've also got this Mono 100 HP pencil by Tombow. It looks like it's a graphite pencil. We've also got a, one of these little Tombow erasers which I'm pretty sure they're really good, those. Then we've got these pens. There's five of these. If, oh, these are little, these are fine liners. So it's got one of the, they've got these, these um, tiny little nibs. And we've got five lovely bright colors in them. Then there's, four blank cards mine's all kind of marked on the front i don't know if you can see It'd probably be better if those were in a bag because they've got a lot of dirt on the front but i definitely had some of these recently in an art box um so there's four of those and they've got a brown envelope with them that's just a little leaflet about the tombow markers then we've got this big pad of Bristol paper. It's also by Tombow. Yeah, it's very smooth. So it's the Bristol smooth paper and there's 25 sheets in that. And then there's the Artful magazine. Let's learn about calligraphy and other stuff. So these magazines are really good. They're full of tutorials and information about the products. I'm absolutely delighted with the box. The box is so cute. Um, I'm not so keen on pens and felt tips, and markers, and I find that subscription boxes are really heavy on um, these. You, you get you get pens and markers more than anything else. So if you're into pens and markers, then um, that's going to be great for you. But I'm not, so it's always quite disappointing when I get pens, but I will have a go with them and try them out and the boxes are still fun to open, but I won't pretend I love the contents and I wouldn't mind if it's like just now and again, but like I say, I think in with our subscription boxes, you always get pens and markers more than anything else. Oh, I didn't realize these pens are double ended as well. So we've got the little, tiny little nib and there's also um a brush oh no it's not a brush it's it's like kind of i don't know what you call it just an ordinary kind of nib um i must say i'm really not pulled over with these they're just they're just not my kind of art supplies so I'll try them out 
So this is sky blue, fuchsia pink, yellow green, violet, and chrome yellow. Okay, so I'm going to um, test the Tom Tombow water-based markers now. So, um, and I'm going to use them with, I'm going to test them with a water brush. No, I, I've already done this with the ones that I got in scroller box. And I, to be honest with you, I can't even remember if that, oh uh, yeah. I couldn't remember whether they were really water soluble, but look at that. That one is, that's like almost completely dissolved, which is good. I'm also going to just do a little bit and leave that to dry and then see if that'll actually reactivate once it's dry. I have done this in the past with the other ones and I honestly cannot remember what happened. So I'm genuinely doing this test again without any prior knowledge because I've just forgot. And try the red. Ah, so that one's a little bit more staining. It's not completely lifting. You know, just in case you wanted to blend them out. So these ones don't have a name on either. It looks like they've just got a colour number. So this is a lovely, really light violet colour. If you catch it really fast before it dries, you can almost totally dissolve it. These are pretty pale colours. I suppose they are supposed to be. It does show you that it's pale on the end. So it's not like I haven't got much pigment in it. Um, they're obviously meant to be that colour. Usually with these water-based products, the, the reds and pinks usually are quite staining. Um... But they are, they are definitely moving with the water. You've got some pretty pale colours. That one's not moving. That grey's not really moving very much. So I doubt it'll move when it's dry. Yeah, if you can get the water on them fast enough, I think... That's probably the key. So you got you'd have to be prepared if you knew that you were wanting to blend a colour. You'd have to be prepared and have the paintbrush at the ready before the colour dried. Instead of using the water to blend out the colour, I'm going to go in with this lighter pink and see if I can blend. No, that's not really working, is it? And you can see that the paper's also peeling up when I, when I rub on it, just try and make it blend. So, can't do that. That might work on watercolour paper though, actually. I'll try that on watercolour paper because I think this paper is lovely and smooth and it's going on really nice, but it's probably got its limitations when it comes to, you know, kind of blending things out so you can see how it didn't work there on the bristol but i'll bet it will probably blend out really nice on this watercolor paper uh no it doesn't <laughs> so i was completely wrong no doesn't even really blend out on the watercolor paper um not with the two pens but no doubt it will with get some water on this. No, it's not really blending any better on the watercolour paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna try the pencil and the eraser. So this pencil's got like a really high quality feel to it. It's really nice. Um I mean I'm not an expert on graphite pencils, so I could I couldn't really give an opinion. They all seem the same to me. This one's gone on really lovely and smooth, but it's a very, very smooth paper, so... 
and then the Reza pretty excellent it's removing all traces of that pencil so I've just been taking a look through the magazine and there's so many tutorials there's tutorials on lettering so how you can use the pens for lettering and there's also a tutorial on how to draw the pictures that are on the box which I'm going to have a go at that I really fancy trying to do this one here it's such a lovely picture then there's some tulip tutorials how to create three different tulip pictures then we've got some calligraphy tutorials lettering with the pens this kind of lettering which is absolutely beautiful but actually looks really difficult so the loads on lettering different types of creating different types of fonts and then there's this lovely fox tutorial i'm going to have a go at that one as well and there's also video tutorials to come so there's in the previous two boxes every month following you get in the box you get an email with a video tutorial you really do get a lot more than the art materials in this box so even though pens aren't my thing because I've got the I'm gonna go through these tutorials and I'll probably have loads of fun so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy this so I decided to go for two of the tutorials I did the little clownfish in the coral and then also the little fox so I'm going to do them now and then just talk about the materials and at the end of the video I'm actually going to test the Tombow markers the brush markers against the Zig Clean Colour Real Brush because it's the same type of thing and the Zigs are really good and I've also got the Arteza version as well and they're brilliant because you can blend them out with water but you do need to ha have the correct surface so they didn't work so well on the Bristol paper I think alcohol markers work better on Bristol paper now these water-based ones do go on really really smooth and it's really satisfying to draw the thing is if you try and layer then the paper does actually peel up with the these water markers but it does go on nice and smooth and if you just carefully very carefully add more layers you can make the color deeper and add some shading like i did in this tutorial with the clownfish the pencil also went on this paper like absolute dream it's just like so smooth and the eraser worked absolutely brilliant on it as well but back to the markers if you can see the coral oh it's it looks like it's quite textured because it's hard to get a flat smooth color because if you go over a bit that you've already been on you get another layer it goes darker um that was handy for this coral because you know it looked quite good with that texture and it was just a base coat anyhow but you obviously could just smooth that out with a bit of water if you wanted to I do kind of wish I hadn't used the Bristol paper. Um, I wish I'd used watercolour paper because I know with my other zig markers there's a certain type of paper. If you can find the right paper they work absolutely brilliant and so far I've found two papers. I've found the Winsor & Newton Cotman paper and the Dale & Rowney Aquafine um, if you use expensive cotton watercolour paper it's too staining and they the don't blend out very well and not all wood pulp papers work either I've only found those two so far there's probably others but you need a watercolour paper that isn't staining that a paper where you can easily lift watercolour should work well with these type of markers so I'm going to do the comparison tests on that cotton paper at the end so you can see how much better it works with these water-based markers actually on my other channel called the art spirits my most successful video to date is actually on these water-based markers 
I'm basically showing how to blend them and blend them on the right paper and it's my best performing, performing video and I've got absolutely tons and tons of lovely comments of people saying thank you so much I never knew how to use the water based markers and now that I know that it's just the paper you just need the right paper I've just had like loads and loads of lovely comments people saying they're now going to use the water based markers because now they know how to use them properly I mean, not that I'm an expert or anything like that, but I was just sharing tips on what I know about them. And I'm not even a marker person. I don't, I don't really like markers, but um, I like watercolour. And because these markers, you can kind of get a watercolour effect with them. I think that's kind of why I like them. But stick around for my tests at the end. I'm going to do them in a minute because I'm really surprised with these Tombow markers. So as for the box itself, I'm really, really pleased. I know I don't really like markers, so I'm not like, you know, really thrilled with the with the contents because I've already got loads of water-based markers. And, I've, and like I said, I just think that our boxes have too many pens in. Um, but I think because this is a three-month box and you seem to get like, you quite a lot of stuff you I mean you're definitely getting worth more than what you would pay for these um, retail price um, but that but the magazine that you get as well all these tutorials I love following tutorials so I just think it's so much fun I, I really do and this is my third Apple box and I absolutely I've loved them so far, I really have. Um, I still need to go through the tutorials of the previous two boxes. I've got the the print, the block printing one and the inks one and I'm going to go through the tutorials in the books like I have with this because I just enjoyed it so much and I haven't even gone through all of them. There's all the lettering tutorials as well. So this is definitely well worth the money. And I mean, it's not like it's every month, £35. It's only every three months. I mean, it's not a lot of money when you think of how much you would spend on a night out or something like that. Um, and I'm not like trying to push these boxes. I don't even know the people who make them or anything like that. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I'm just really impressed with the box. And I absolutely can't wait for the next one now. Okay, so now I'm going to test these Zig Clean Colour Real bl real Brush pens against these Tombow markers. So I've picked out similar colours for the test. So I'm putting the Tombow marker down first and then the Zig. And I've, I've tried to pick out a similar colour but they're, they're not exactly the same. And the Zig ones are like proper high quality, like, you know... I don't think there's um, much better quality, or so I thought. Um, when it comes to blending them out, I th the Zig ones were the best. I think the Zig were better than the Arteza ones. And there are, the Zig ones are a lot stronger as well. They're really highly pigmented. But look at the results here. The, um, the Zig ones seem to be more staining and the Tombos are completely dissolving. So this is the Zig, the second one for the blue. And I'm just adding some water to activate it and then trying to drag it out um, and see how much of a stain it's leaving. And again, with the blue, the Zig is a lot more staining. I think the Zig is slightly stronger in color. So I think there's more pigment in them, but, but they're very staining, look at the difference. So the first one's the Tombow in each colour and the second one's the Zig. So I'm going to try some more colours just in case it's just the, you know those colours because some colours are more staining than others. So just to give a more fair comparison. I'm just trying a few more colours. So that one's staining a little bit but not too much. And then you can see that the Zig has stained a lot more. 
So I thought I'll try three more blues because I didn't get the exact same blue for the blue test. So I'm trying three more blues in the zig to see if any of them completely dissolve and they don't. All three of them have left quite a dark stain. And then this is them all dry. So they're all completely dry now. And I'm just comparing to see which ones will completely, well, which ones leave a stain and which ones don't. So they all leave a stain when completely dry, but the zig ones leave a stronger stain. I don't know whether that's because they're more pigmented. I'm not really sure. So now I'm going back to the Bristol paper and I'm going to see if so the, the first one is the Tombow and I'm going to see if it will completely dissolve on the Bristol paper, which it doesn't. So the Zig one definitely won't. So that just that's the, the paper comparison. So when I was saying before about getting the right paper, if you notice the Tombow one is leaving a stain on the Bristol paper, but it didn't leave a stain on the Cotman paper. So if you if you want to completely be able to blend them this cotton paper is really good so now what I'm doing is I'm trying to blend them out with a lighter color so I've used a red and a light pink in the Tombow and it's not really I want to create try and create a gradient and now I'm using the zig so the zig won out on this one that you can easily create a gradient and drag that dark color down into the light color with the zigs um, so even though it's on the cotton paper it's um, the zig has worn out with this test I, I'm doing it again with a lighter pink because I think that it was a deeper pink for the zig so it wasn't quite a fair comparison so I'm doing the zig again with a lighter pink and I'm still managing to get a fairly good gradient. It's like the pen is activating the darker pen, the lighter pen is activating the darker pen. So I'm trying again with the Tombow to see if I can activate some more of that red and bring it down, but it won't. So that was just a couple of little tests that I did and the Zig came out on top for blending when you blend with the pens and the Tombow came out top on top if you blend them with water. So I think they're a little bit more water soluble. Um, but I think that the, the Tombows are a really good rival for the Zigs. So if you were going to get some, which I'm not because I've already got the Zigs and I've already got the Arteza. Uh, which the Arteza are quite good. Um, but the Zigs were, were more pigmented and they were more juicy as well. The Artesas were slightly drier and the, the ink wasn't as strong. Um, but these Tombows are definitely, a, you know, a really good alternative. So, yeah, um, re well, I've really enjoyed using them. But unfortunately, I probably won't actually use them again unless I go through the tutorials in the book. So they actually sell these boxes after they've released them as well. So if you want to get one, just go to the website and see if they've got any left. Um, it's not like a normal subscription where if you subscribe now, you don't you don't get the next box. You can you can buy this box that's out now. So thank you very much for watching. That's the end of my video.